Well, to two JCPS bus crashes within a matter of weeks, school bus drivers were retrained on basic driving and wet weather following two hydroplane crashes at the end of last school year. The chief operations officers for the district says two in a month is unheard of. Wave troubleshooter Mark Stevens shows us the driver's safety records. Neither driver was cited by police for the two hydroplane crashes in May, but police did say the drivers contributed to the cause of those crashes, one that had students tumbling as their bus rolled on I-64. Terrified students on bus 2015 would not be the only ones to experience a hydroplane crash on I-64 while in JCPS's care in May. 23 days later, the driver of bus 1758 lost control on the Snyder Freeway, crashing into the grassy median. It was Guys. definitely a focal point, absolutely. Um, that, that's pretty unheard of. Um, matter of fact, that no one, no one around had heard of two hydroplanes in one month. JCPS Chief Operations Officer Chris Perkins says all school bus drivers were given a refresher course on wet weather driving the week after school let out. We reiterated um, you know, the, the section on, on just the fundamentals of driving, especially in wet road conditions. While neither driver in the hydroplane wrecks were cited by police, the crash reports in both cases said the drivers were partly to blame. The officer wrote not under proper control for Rosa Ruff, driver of the I-64 bus crash. Police noted driving too fast for conditions for Curtasia Smith, the driver of the I-265 bus crash. Court records show both drivers have a few tickets on their records. Ruff was cited for no insurance in 1999. Smith was cited for speeding 82 in a 55 mile per hour zone in 2018, but the charge was amended down to reckless driving. She was also cited for not having insurance. In 2019, she was cited for reckless driving again. Our expectation is safety comes first no matter what. We asked JCPS for copies of their school driving records. Ruff has been involved in 13 crashes over her 17-year career, all very minor fender benders with the exception of the I-64 rollover. Smith has a similar, although much shorter, record. She was hired in 2020 and has been involved in five wrecks. JCPS records show an accident review committee stressed she needed more training, including most recently following a crash in June 2021. And if, if there's a specific type of, of incident that we're seeing uh, trends in, then we can be very, um, very targeted in what type of, of support or training that we need to provide each driver. That accident review committee won't meet for either hydroplane crash until the start of school in August. Drivers are not required to participate in them. Both buses also passed their mechanical inspections. JCPS says both drivers remain on the payroll and want to continue driving. Mark Stevens, Wave News.